Hey there Taurus, welcome to my channel Serious About Stars and welcome to your reading. This reading is entirely timeless so whenever it is that you have been guided to click on this video for some reason or another then this here is the time frame that there is some kind of a message in here for you and it could be just one thing that you were brought here to receive and it could be just about the entire reading so take it as it resonates, only as it resonates, leave the rest only allow the pieces that fit to um to be something that you take with you beyond this reading um allow your own intuition to be present and to to speak up it doesn't have to be every part of this reading um okay so also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find yourself enjoying what i have to share with you subscribe to the channel as well serious about stars and do watch these videos for your sun sign moon sign and rising sign especially and you know any other placements that um, you find really resonate with you feel free to check out those videos as well but we'll jump into the reading so taurus i have meditated on your energy i have some downloads to share with you also pre-pulled some cards and we'll pull more cards live and on camera towards the end. So stick around for that. The Taurus. This is my cat. She says hello. <laughs> um, all right. So when I meditated on your energy, Taurus, it's kind of like there's this cage, perhaps, maybe that you have found yourself in. And it's this place or this thing that has been around for a long time. You've been in this situation for a long time but only just now is it starting to feel kind of like a cage it's like it feels maybe like it's gotten tighter or something has gotten more restrictive or has gotten smaller um but the thing is is it's it hasn't changed if you really think about it hasn't changed it has always been exactly what it is the thing is is you grew and it didn't or they didn't this could be about a relationship and do you feel that it could be about a relationship it could be about like a friend group that you are in that you are very close to it could be a job or even like a whole career so take it as it resonates it could be a little of all of that too i do feel for for someone but take it as it resonates um and allow these messages also always to be malleable um yeah allow your intuition to fill in certain blanks here but yeah, so it's kind of like this cage. It feels like something is maybe closing in or something is wrapping up. Something is ending. Maybe you intuitively feel like something is about to change. Maybe a job or a relationship or something is changing. And maybe it's something that you've been aware of in a way for a while, but you resisted it. But you kept growing you kept growing and although it didn't keep getting smaller it felt like it it felt like it because it wasn't growing there's a certain maybe alignment that had that used to be present in your life that isn't quite in alignment anymore and taurus it's kind of like wherever this is and it might not even be about a relationship or a job. Take it as it resonates. I feel like it could be kind of like a more abstract, just kind of super subjective way that this is really coming through. So allow your intuition really to really be present. As well. I almost can't stress that enough. Um, but it's like this is actually pushing you into your energy. Like this is activating something within you that may have been dormant for quite a while. Like... Um, like your inner like bull or right, right like as like Taurus something within you something that like you may have forgotten and I also kind of got this little intuitive message so bear with me here but it's as if like long long ago like years ago you were say like there was this wild animal okay that got injured and it was rescued and kind of nursed back to health and brought somewhere that it was safe and it could walk learn to walk again and then time went on and it healed and it lived in what it didn't quite know was 
a zoo, but it was content because it had everything it needed. It had some space to walk and it was fed and it got its water and what have you, like and everything it needed to survive. But as time went on, it grew and it started to maybe realize certain things and maybe it was a process. Maybe somebody here feels guilty. Maybe somebody here feels guilty because maybe they're, maybe if it is, is about, if this is about somebody or something like it has been nothing but good to you maybe, or it has been very good, like in this analogy, right? Of the zoo thing, there has been no, there's been no malicious intent, right? On anyone's part, but it's like something is out of alignment. You and something or someone aren't the same. Maybe that's what it's coming down to. Maybe somebody needs something different. And it's kind of like, it's like, it's like, it's, this is going back to something far long ago, like your roots. This is about your roots, who you were before, maybe who you were, like who you wanted to be as a child or something like that. It's just like, there's this having to break free there and there is this breaking free and it's a beautiful thing and maybe it's a scary thing too. Maybe there's a certain level of fear as something feels like it's closing in or this, there's this fear of the unknown or these all these things you're having to process. But it's like you got to be true to yourself. You got to be true to yourself. Um, a couple more little intuitive things from the meditation. Maybe certain boundaries and limits are being tested and pushed but it's again it's really just pushing you into yourself and your own energy like this this fire being lit within you or beneath you and there being this something you have to do something you have to do something having to break out of this out of these walls or this fence or these gates something that's been holding you back and it's like, in a way, it's like it's this illusion because you have everything it takes. You have everything it takes. Um, yeah, I think that was about it from the meditation. I just kind of want to say this, this, um, give you this, this peace and this comfort. It's available to you. It's available for you to give to yourself. You have permission to, um... Give yourself permission to feel what you feel. Um, I don't know. I feel like you have like all these answers within you. And maybe things like don't look right on the outside, but trust your intuition, trust what is on the inside, Taurus. Um, there might be a lot of like unknown things going on, like a like a element of scary and unknown. Like if you are going back into maybe like an environment that you haven't been in for a long time, that place where you were or maybe years ago, and there's this maybe there are yeah I don't know I feel certain feels being triggered, but it's kind of like if you could see where you are now from the future, from your future self, from your higher self, you'd have nothing but encouragement to say. Like you, you're in good hands. Like the universe has your back. God has your back, has your hand through this. Allow yourself to see that. Allow yourself to feel that you're not alone. You're not alone. And there may be certain things you're having to leave behind that make you feel like you're alone, but you're not alone. You're not alone. Um, nothing but love, nothing but love. Okay. Um, I have pre-pulled some cards for you Taurus so um all of the card decks that I'm using are listed in the description so you can check them out there if you'd like um but also I do like to say so in this with this card that I've pulled here um I'm asking for the truth what is the truth what is the hidden truth here what is really going on um I don't I don't I don't get to tell you what your truth is right only you get to say that so don't allow like the, I don't know, opinions and voices of others to, to be the truth, you know, just because someone says something doesn't make it true. And they certainly don't have the right to make, decide what is your truth. So, uh, have your own intuition present, even 
through this. Um, but Drifter, number 14, experiencing life as it comes. Taurus, I do feel that whatever it is that's been going on, it's like it's secretly been going on for a really long time, but you didn't know it. Like maybe you were guilty by, for wanting more. Maybe you were guilty for wanting, you felt guilty for wanting more and you didn't want to drift. Like it felt like, like a boat and you kept trying to like stay close to the shore, stay close to the shore, don't drift too far, don't drift too far. But it's like there's been this call to truth. This is this call of truth. I don't know, just really pulling on you maybe. And allowing yourself to drift. Allowing your your it to give. I don't know, your heart to swim. I don't, I don't know what that's about. But I don't know, allowing yourself to feel. Allowing yourself to swim. Interesting. Trusting in your ability to swim. Not having to stay in the boat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll go ahead and read the description though with this card here. Um, so Drifter, what lights you up? Experiencing life as it comes, seeking the essence. I'm going to have to grab that cat toy from my cat because that's not going to stop. I'll be right back. All right, and we are back. The Drifter invites you to step out of your to-do list and your ordinary routine to feel the breeze against your skin calling you to follow the wind and explore life's opportunities. When the drifter appears, it's a sign that it's time to cut the mooring lines holding you to the dock. It's not important to know the destination before you set sail. It will become clear as you leave port. Do not wait for a map as there are none to where you are destined to go. But be sure that you do have a compass to keep you true. Yours is your pure love and your intention to be free of your own beliefs and preconceptions. Few appreciate the energy of the drifter. Here you might not seem to be doing anything worthwhile or meeting someone else's expectations but you are the only one who understands that others are running full out on the hamster wheel and getting nowhere. Your laziness is an underappreciated virtue. You know that life will find you and bring you everything you require without your having to search for it by simply being instead of frantic doing. Even as you let your mind wander, releasing it to go on a daily walkabout, call it back home regularly to deliver news from the cosmos, the drifter helps you find what you are looking for, even when you didn't think you were seeking anything. I love it. Drifter. And my cat says hello. Yeah. I don't know it's kind of like be open to the magic be open to the beauty maybe it's like the beauty in the dark if there are certain you know fears that are being triggered allow yourself to see the beauty in it maybe allow yourself to i don't know appreciate it like when you look back right on things from your past that were scary or difficult but you can look back with a different lens of what you learned and how you grew from that and how in a way it was actually kind of beautiful. Like allow yourself in, in these present moments if they are challenging to, to, to see the beauty, to appreciate the experience and the rarity of it. Um, I don't know, something about appreciating it. Like, I don't know, be open to the beauty in it. I don't know. Like, you could look at this card and see all sorts of different things. You could see like deep water. You could assume that it's cold. Or you could assume that it's beautiful and magical and taking you somewhere special and be grateful for it. You could be afraid of it and happy for it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, 
Taurus. So I um, pre-pulled a few more cards. Um, I asked for a card here for abundance in your life, whether this is abundance of money or material things or love, relationships, whatever kind of abundance in your life it is that you may be seeking, that your soul may be seeking at this time. It is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Interestingly, I feel like somebody could be It's almost as if there's this other way of looking at something that's going on in your life right now. If you are wanting to receive something, it's like you, maybe you've not been receiving things, like things aren't going right or something like that. But just maybe it's like, are you afraid of the very thing you want in a kind of abstract sort of confusing way? Could you be? Um, I don't know. It's kind of like, um, I don't know. And maybe there's something that needs to be released to receive. Um, sorry, my allergies are suddenly kicking in because I'm allergic to my cats, so bear with me. Um, but it's like there's this giving and receiving, this mutual giving and receiving. So if you want to receive, how can you give? And if you want to give, how can you allow yourself to receive? It's like, um, it's like there's this fear of receiving. I don't know. So I don't know, maybe take a moment to really contemplate, contemplate, like, especially like it's really helpful sometimes. So just actually like physically write it down, like write down how you feel, how something makes you feel. Do you, if you feel like um, frustrated about this or that, write it down. And then um, beneath that, maybe write down how, um, kind of like the mirror of that, like, like how maybe have you frustrated yourself? Okay, well, okay, there's this other kind of example that just keeps coming to my mind as I'm trying to explain it. Um, but if someone like has made you feel something, right? Maybe somebody made you feel um, sad or heartbroken or unlovable or um, whatever, you write it down and then um, write down beneath that um, how have you made yourself feel in this way? Because everything is a mirror. So if something, if there's this stuck energy outside of you, it's also within you, like you've, everything is a mirror. So allowing yourself to take that sort of accountability um, to really be real with yourself. I don't know if I'm explaining this right. I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but um, allow yourself to look at the mirror of things, <clears throat> things that another person has done. How in some kind of way have you done this too? Um, it might not be obvious. It may be like a very like in the shadows thing, but this is shadow work. This is you bringing things to light, to transmute them, to work things out, to heal things, to heal yourself and ultimately to heal others because your healing is the healing of others and their healing is also yours. So we're all connected, right? Um, okay, I've also pulled some cards for your love life. First card that came out was trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like there is a lot of trust that is being asked of you, that the universe is asking of you like, um, like 
I don't know, like not just in love, but like in life, it feels like there's like, I don't know, maybe what is being asked of you requires a lot of trust and it feels like a risk, but the universe, God, the creator, the divine, whatever it is for you is asking you to trust it, asking you to trust yourself, asking yourself maybe even to trust somebody else asking you to have trust in all areas all in all ways full trust full trust um in something wow yeah um also it is safe for you to love came out open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all it's so interesting because it is safe for you to receive it is safe for you to love taurus do you not feel safe? Do you not feel safe? Does something not feel safe? It could be a great time to really, again, just get real with yourself. Do you feel safe? And then just kind of explore that. Keep asking yourself why. And you may realize you how safe you are, how lovable you are. I don't know, something about lovable really coming up but allow yourself to take that journey to to explore there to to go there to explore there maybe somebody is afraid of what they'll find if they ask themselves those questions but i think it'll be pleasantly surprised it could be a very healing experience it's safe for you to love it's safe for you to go there. It's safe to make some kind of a journey. Interesting. It's something about a journey. To make a journey, it is safe to make that journey, to bridge that gap, to go to that place. It's safe. Um, okay, what else came out? Pay attention to the red flags came out. The signs are cautioning you. There could be certain things that are coming rapidly to your attention or have been coming rapidly to your attention. I feel that this is actually a little bit of a past energy. There are things that have been revealed. Or this could be a present energy too. There are things that you are being asked to look at or forced to look at. And this could have to do with it feeling like things are closing in like from your meditation. As you grow, things seem to become smaller around you if they're not growing with you. But it's kind of like, allow yourself to really go deep to, again, make this journey to think about it, not avoid this any longer. Um, allow yourself to see, open your eyes, allow yourself to see heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Honesty, communication. Communication could be a big deal. Be really intentional about how you communicate. Um, and also the angels in this imagery, I feel that this is divinely guided and you are protected. You are so protected. This, something is blessed. Something is blessed. It is safe. It is okay. And this is divinely guided. You are not alone. You are not alone. Um... a challenging conversation for somebody here just maybe there's something that's hard to swallow or something you have to say that is hard for somebody else to swallow and and you know that but if it's the truth the truth does need to come to light you know when you are authentic and and you are truth and you are expressing your truth it can't be wrong it can't be wrong if it's your truth, then it is not wrong. Maybe it feels like your truth is wrong. It's it's not. Not if it's your truth. Okay, the last three cards that came out. It's I got this. It's like, it's. It's like, okay, I'm just going to show them to you and I'll explain them before I show them to you. <laughs> Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Religious factors. 
Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and children. Your love life is being affected by children. It's kind of like, it feels like, okay, the intuitive message I'm getting is these are how the cards came out. These are the cards that came out. Like something is changing. Something happened for somebody if there is a breakup. If there is a breakup that is, is recently happened or is in the process right now. It's kind of like these could be the reasons. I just, I really did feel that. Only take this if it's for you. Only it may not be. Don't force certain things to fit if they don't resonate. If you don't recognize uh, any truth in these messages, then 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 leave them there where they are. Um, but religious factors. Could there be religious factors in a relationship that is causing it to not be in alignment anymore? Could there be healing that is needed? healing for you as well as that other person when it comes to family and children. Interesting. And this feels to be like, if this message here is for you, it's kind of like, um, maybe people want different things when it comes to children. I don't know. But it's, it's not just children. It, it almost feels like this is about karma in a way. Because in a way, right? Like, oftentimes, a child will have a lot of its parents' karma. So, would your child, right? Your child would have a lot of your karma. So, as maybe you have grown and evolve that is influencing your future karma and but this feels like the, the 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 purpose the thing here is this feels very positive actually it's like good karma it's good karma i don't know it's like it's a blessing in disguise something is a huge blessing in disguise I just I just I feel that like like this feels like good for your children like this is a good this, I, whether or not you have children now this could be like your future children or your children actually if you have them but I don't know it's like doing this for your child or this being a good like saving your child like maybe you are saving your children saving the future in some kind of a way I don't know through some kind of a relationship if it's coming to close this is like letting it go so that something better can be I, I don't know I feel that okay Taurus this part of the reading we'll go ahead and pull some cards live in on camera here so we'll give this card deck just a couple of shuffles again in case I didn't say it earlier all the card decks I'm using are listed in the description all right, so just some, you know, intuitive little messages for anyone still watching at this time. Ooh, okay. What was it? Ooh, I haven't seen this card come out yet. This is kind of a new card deck. Moving forward. Get ready for positive change. Ooh. Move forward, keep moving forward. Again, it could feel like you're in the dark and something you are going to these unfamiliar places, but there's so much beauty in it. So much beauty in it. Let me show you this card uh, close up in case there's anything in that imagery that speaks to you directly. This is such a beautiful card. I'm really feeling that, that essence of the beautiful things in the dark, like sometimes your eyes, it takes a while, right? For your eyes to attune to it, to be able to see it. And you need to first turn the lights off or you step out into the night. You can't see anything for a few seconds, anything at all. But then as you begin to walk and you begin to be more, become more comfortable, you can start to see things, beautiful things. It's like there are Northern lights in the background. There's this sort of glow. It's like being able to, to start to see things. Things are getting better. Positive change. Get ready for positive change, Taurus. It's right there. It is right there. It is so, so close. Expect it. Know it's coming. 
moving forward. I don't know. I just get this really just positive energy. Like there could be like a dark night of the soul, right? Experience that somebody has been going through. But get ready for positive change. I just, I love that. Okay, what else? Okay. Gratitude. Be grateful for all you have. Count your blessings. Find the light in things. I don't know. Find the light in things. Turn the lights on. See, see things from a new and beautiful perspective. If things seem challenging or dark or damp. And you can't change it. You can't make it something else. Something that it's not. But what you can do is you can step around it and see it from another angle. Perhaps you can make the effort to turn the lights on, to light a candle, to see into the crevices, the beauty, and expose that beauty and focus on that beauty. And then magically, it's like it changes. It just changes. So, yeah, that is what you do have control over is your perspective. And your perspective is powerful. One more card from this deck here, and then we'll get a guardian angel message after. Oof, that was too many. Too many. Okay. What'd you get? What'd you get? Creative wonderment. Follow your passion. Knowledge. Seek knowledge. And leadership. Set your goals. And I show you all of these cards. I don't know, Taurus. It's like there's something new and passionate on the horizon. Like a book you're opening. Like this new book you're opening. A new book you find. Maybe it's something, again, maybe there's something that you forgot about. That maybe something you wanted to do when you were younger. And you forgot about it. And it's like, maybe you've seen this book before. Maybe you saw it as a kid. Maybe it's something that you used to be interested in. And then you open it for the first time in a long time. And you get really into it. And it's very inspiring. Maybe something is really inspiring you. And maybe you are taking leadership and ownership in your life. And there's this fire. There's this light that is just coming in like it's like you've been in this dark night energy and then the light comes out and it's so bright and it's so brighter than it's ever been creative wonderment follow your passion yeah really something creative here getting into your energy your creative energy like i don't know it's like something has just been you've been pushed has you been pushed into your energy into your creativity it's like it's like now there's just this limitless potential. There's these no more gates, no more fences, no more cages, no more cages, Taurus. No more cages. It's just limitless. And it's like you can go anywhere now. Like you can go anywhere with that. You can climb any any ladder, any staircase. Like you can go anywhere. You can do anything. I don't know. I love that. Okay. All right, um, we're gonna do this one little shuffle here. Um, so, Taurus, guardian angel message. Okay, that card, I wanna grab two. This card just like fell right off the top before I shuffle them. So we're gonna get two, but I feel like this needed to come out. Healing, listen to your heart. Love is the greatest healer. It has the capacity to balance and heal your emotions, thoughts, and perceptions which in turn will heal you physically. Your angels are here with you and will help dissolve your fears. Trust in the power of love to guide you and your life will magically transform. This card is confirmation that healing is occurring right now. All right, we are gonna get one more card though, just because the way that that came out, I don't, I just, I felt like I didn't, I didn't wanna, yeah, okay. One card, one more card, one card from your guardian angel for Taurus. Inspiration, what were we just talking about? 
a wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura. It is important that you trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to unusual thoughts that come to your mind and do not discount your imagination. Many wonderful ideas which have served humanity were initially scoffed at or ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities for your life. Wow. Okay, Taurus, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Um, I hope that you have a beautiful, blessed day. So much love to you and light to you. See the light. All right, um, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.